Hello and welcome to the Sands of Time review channel. Uh, it's your host Sammy Thunder and welcome to Watch Express where I talk about some of the new releases uh, from a variety of watch brands, kind of give you my initial impressions um, and my thoughts on the watch, the watches uh, that are being released. So here we go and just today I think um, we had a few announcements from Oris that, um, that have kind of piqued my uh, curiosity and I knew this was going to happen um, because, you know, we were already see seeing um, uh, bronze Oris pointer dates before, um, but now we ha actually have the bracelet. So I think Oris has uh, kind of realized the success perhaps of the uh, Oris Cotton Candy series with the vibrant colors in Tiffany Blue, the Moss Green, and also the Candy Pink. I think they've realized there's a lot of potential there and they've brought it in with the uh, Oris pointer date uh, with some of the new colors so that's the first thing I kind of want to go through is just the Oris pointer date and just a bit of my thoughts so this watch is pretty much in configuration uh, case wise the same as any other pointer date in the market so it could be the stainless steel one it's it's the same thing it's just bronze and my personal favorite of all the uh, new releases is actually the red version with the bronze bracelet. Um, so there's a blue version that they've released as well. Uh, and and that, that looks phenomenal as well. You also have the standard bronze, which was already, uh, sorry, the standard brown dial, uh, which was already released uh, before, but now you actually have it with the bracelet and also the, the military green uh, this was released prior as well so kind of the new colors I'd say uh, in this uh, moment is actually the red and the red um, I really love the red the ox ox blood red from the Oris X Fratello limited edition and now I think you kind of get the same red uh, here and I think it's a phenomenal model I think uh, red color in general in watches uh, or at least in watch dials is very rare I mean, there are some instances where that is the, you know, there are some models, uh, but they're very popular, such as the Orion Kamasu. I'd say this RSX Fratello is a really good red. Um, the JLC Reverso with the uh, red dial, absolutely phenomenal watches. And I think um, the uh, Oris has done an excellent job here. So the retail price on these new Oris watches uh, come in at about... 3600 Australian dollars, so I believe it's a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars cheaper than the uh, The cotton candies which is to be expected because the cotton candies derived from the diver 65 uh, This isn't so What we have here we have screw down crown I believe 100 meters of water resistance 40 mil diameter watch uh, the proportions on this watch are, are are great and you can literally look at any other standard um uh, or as point, uh, pointer dates out there so again I think Oris could benefit by extending their warranty um, so you kind of get three years which is standard you know, I mean you get three years with your Seiko um, but I think if Oris decides to push even further upmarket I think it's wise for them to just increase their base warranty to around five years and I'm sure um, that would be the case and, and and they're already offering 10 years warranty on all Oris caliber 400 so it's a worthy uh, investment there at least in you know uh, in servicing that movement long term the next Oris release that uh, piqued my curiosity is actually the uh, the Oris Wukong edition so this is kind of another release uh, based on the Sun Wukong and this here is you know it's based on an animated feature length film so it's kind of piqued my curiosity at least because they've released two watches based on the the, the same same movie um so you know i'm probably going to watch this movie at one point uh but they've released a new uh version here and i believe you know it comes in at thirty-five thousand australian dollars and the dial itself is made from a white gold plate and then you have enamel on it and then it's handcrafted, hand painted enamel. So enamel, when you're doing something like this, especially to the uh, execution that Oris has done uh, here, you can tell. You know, this is something you do on horology pieces. You know, uh, and you see it here. Like the dial itself is actually phenomenal. 
I mean, they, I, I won't floor the dial. I mean, it, it's a beautiful dial, um, but I believe the case uh, and the rest of the bracelet um, itself is just the standard construction for an Oris Aquas, which is fine. It's an excellent diver, um, but you, you've seen the price tag already, 35000 Australian dollars. What is Oris thinking? Who is this watch for? I, I don't actually know, honestly. Um, it's there may be a few people that are going to get this watch. I mean, there's maybe a hardcore, you know, Sun Wukong enthusiast or the Monkey King enthusiast. Sorry, I you know, it, it does puzzle me um, because you know, for me, I've not really heard of this thing, and Oris has decided to commemorate it to the fullest, which is good. I, I highly respect it, but um, yeah, I, I think this is kind of for some it's reserved for some of the special um you know people that are really uh, interested into you know in something like this um and, and you know they've decided to put a handcrafted enamel dial on a dive watch design which is also very interesting uh you know if, if you were to put this on something a little bit more elegant uh, and, and provide like a white gold solid white gold case or or something i think you know, at least you can justify the price, but um, just for the average watch enthusiast, you know, it, it's it's very hard to justify. And and the the Aquas is an amazing watch. Don't get me wrong, but uh, thirty five thousand Australian dollars, you know, <laughs> you're probably going to get something a bit more mechanically complicated than an Oris Caliber four hundred, which is in here. Um, you're going to get something special. You're gonna get you can easily get something with enamel. You can get Crador Crador porcelain dials. I mean uh Alanga Patek I mean the it's open. Um like you know, no disrespect to this watch, I think it's great. Uh but I do think that it, it is a bit on the more expensive side here. Um but you know, in all construction, it is, you know, your typical Oris Aquas, and, uh, you know, it's familiar, very familiar, I like, I, I do like, I like the watch, I like the craftsmanship that's gone here, gone into this watch, you know, I respect it, I don't think it's $35,000 respectable, and that's fine, um, but, yeah, this is kind of my opinions on some of the new Oris releases, I think these Oris pointer dates are are of excellent quality. I think Oris also released recently um, some other propolis. I think it's the partnership with uh, Volante, which I'm, I'm not very educated on myself, but they've kind of given you some degradate aisles. Uh, and I personally really like this uh, kind of this light teal, teal bluish uh, color. Um, beautiful watches partnership I mean to me I I don't think people are really there for that partnership but what you are getting is deer leather you get a card holder you get you get a pout as well so you get some extra goodies and you get a little bit of that partnership there so uh, definitely I uh, you know I, this is something I can actually relate to more than the uh, Oris Wukong but at least with the Oris Wukong um, I'll, uh, I'll at least try and watch that movie and just kind of understand and grasp, uh, grasp, uh, you know, what it's about, what's the hype there. Um, and I think this, this version here is a 38mm uh, case, um, but I believe the standard pointer dates are stated to be 40mm soaps. So there there are subtle differences, uh, and I, yeah, Oris, on their website, they don't really state... Uh, thickness or lug to lug uh, but you do get five bar water resistant I believe this is also screw down yeah it's screw in screw in security um, 20 mil lug width so you can easily swap out this uh, strap whenever you want uh, for a bracelet AR coding excellent on both sides that's that's phenomenal man. that that is worth it um, you know people underestimate the value of any reflective coding um, and obviously this comes with the Salida SW200 movement. Um, not regulated, I believe, but decent performance. It, 
it is what it is you get what you pay for and what you get is an amazing bronze watch finished to perfection love the brushed finishing love the bracelet i think it's a great watch anyways guys it's the sands of time exiting peace